Well, hey everybody, welcome back. What's this, something with scenery on it? I've got that module up on sawhorses because I'm trying to build the bench work for underneath it and I don't want to interfere with uh, where terminal strips and such are because I want to go ahead and get that built. And I want to put it over here where it's going to go. And as I turn around, you'll see why. Because I've got this in a state that I'm ready to keep coming this way with it. Um, but I want to have the, the creek scene that I just showed in place, kind of where I'm standing, so I know how far I actually want to bring this peninsula towards me before I stop it and, and, and ha have the track start curving back around to go back that way. So just trying to get alignment straight. And, uh, and you can see I've, I've made some more progress on uh, what we had before. So I've got everything down and painted now. Got the backdrop in and mudded. And that now goes all the way around. I was talking to somebody recently about, uh, about next steps on the backdrop and <laughs> kind of said, uh, I think I need a, a little bit more time between uh, Timonium and, uh, and ordering more photo backdrop. So I'm gonna keep working with what I have, which is a lot, uh, a lot of stuff here, uh, and then come back and, and deal with backdrop, uh, you know, actually putting the photo up at some point uh, here in the near future. Uh, I just need a little bit more time. Another thing I did was get a, a pretty large version of, uh, of the track plan, track plan printed out, because um, soon I will be uh, working on the actual track alignment. Uh, but what I was just describing and what I have in is the yard. So all along this, this is where we're standing now facing this way. So this is the little turn back area above the workbench here. That's what that is. And we've currently got the first sort of section of this built. It's actually a little longer than this. It's, it's more like out to here. It's about eight feet. Uh, and then I, instead of having that notch out like I talked about in the last video, I've now got it coming back more smoothly. And that's where we are. But I'm kind of manipulating this distance here once I get that in place by the door. That's the, the creek I just showed uh, with this completed scenery. Um, the original plan I had, that's a 27, just a 27 inch wide aisle there. Where I'm standing by the workbench is closer to 40 and actually opens up to more than 40 actually down here by the workbench. Um, and I kind of like the feel of this wide aisle. And now that I've got it up and standing in here, I don't want a 27 inch aisle. So I'm going to manipulate that by shortening the peninsula. And I just need this in place to be able to figure out uh, exactly where I want it to end. So um, kind of moving this way and this way at the same time uh, this week. So that's where we are. More to come. All right. Well, a little bit of progress. I just built a simple little uh, eight foot long uh, box frame um, and I built it wide enough to hold the existing creek scene and that's where we are. Um, what I'm working on now, if I come under here and look, I want to kind of deal with the wires a little bit. Um, I don't think I want them between the layout and the bench work. So I'm probably going to drill some holes in some of my cross members here and, uh, and run some wire through there. Um, and here's where I, you know, the, I did not want to touch the terminal strip with any of the joists and stuff because I didn't want to move that. So I had a nice wide space between those two. But yeah, that's uh, that's where we are. It's pretty sturdy. Um, it'll get more sturdy as I continue to you know work in more bits and it connects to, to more things, but uh, it's definitely not going anywhere. And uh, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, it's just got the legs on the one side here. And then over here, I put a, a two by two into the bottom of the, the door and then plenty of screws into that to hold it in place. And it's nice because the thickness of this module and this one are the same. So I could just butt it right up to the bottom and uh, and that'll that'll work well. Um, and I in the last thing where I showed the plan, this distance in here will be just a uh, it won't this isn't gonna come all the way over. I'm gonna have to build like a little small small section for right there. But uh, but I knew that. And it'll join the backdrop and the tabletop together. So making progress and now I kind of see how much room I have between there and where I want that peninsula to come to. So um, 
I may even round that off. And if I, I'm just thinking out loud, if I bring the peninsula out and round it off, I may be more comfortable with this pinching a little closer. It could just be one little point if it's rounded off rather than the entire peninsula. And since I don't have plans for the corners, it's just track curving back, uh, that, that may work. So uh, well, I'll keep thinking about that. For now, uh, I wanna work on the wiring under here and get that permanently attached to the bench work and, uh, and keep pressing on. All right, got the wiring sorted out underneath the creek scene here. And what I ended up doing is just, I didn't wanna redo stuff and run the main feeders through holes in the joists. So I just notched some, notched some parts out where bundles of wires were going through. Um, some more over here. It's a little bit messier. That was the first one I did. And then I did bore some big holes and I'll just use that for the, the, the main DCC bus. And then when I run the, you know, the 12 volt bus throughout the layout for building lighting, etc., I will run that through there too. So that is where we are underneath. And this is, this is now attached. And so I'm starting to think about this transition section. Um, this turnout is actually going to come out and it'll just be four tracks coming off of here. So this will be the track nearest the edge. So I've got this two by two in there, kind of demarcating where I want the edge of the layout to be. And I'm kind of using that to test my reach. So there's going to be a water treatment facility on the old layout it was way over on the other end over there. It's being moved over to this end of the yard now. Um, and that'll have a pretty long track and it'll have an off track here, uh, for spotting, uh, extra cars that don't fit at the unloading spots, but I won't need to uncouple anything back in there. It'll just be here. So it's a bit of a reach for me. Um, it's 30 inches, but I can reach in there. You know, if I was to simulate like a uncoupled tool, I can, I can get in there. So I think that'll work. And I'm only five foot eight. So that means most anybody that comes over here to operate will be able to reach in there pretty easy. Um, so trying to figure that out and I'm, um, you know, jotting some notes down, uh, getting ready to cut some stuff and uh, trying to get the height right. And this is kind of interesting. So the thickness of these, let me come this way, show you what I mean. The thickness of the door from there to there is not super standard, but what I figured out is a, a one by two on its side and then this is a, um, this was a two by a two foot long, half inch by two inch board. I've used it as a straight edge a bunch. Um, you can get that at the hardware store as well. Um, but actually if I stack those two things together, it's the perfect height to mount the phone to on this transition. And I also think if I'm not mistaken that this half inch should be the same as the plywood I use. And so I'll just be able to put the plywood directly on top of these uh, one by twos on their side. And it's just this little sort of trapezoid triangly shaped thing. Um, so I think, I think that will be sufficient in terms of, of strength. So that's what I'm working on now. And uh, let me crack on. All right, so this is sort of what the structure is gonna look like. Underneath, I'm gonna cut a little uh, bit of plywood that's gonna sit in this area here. And, uh, and I'm gonna call that uh, call that good. I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. Um, but like other places, just again, trying to match to the thickness of, of the doors is just awkward. Um, and uh, I found that these little paint stirrers uh, work as nice little spacers. Uh, I've done this, I actually did the same thing. I think I talked about it when we were, there's the plywood, when I was doing this section over here to fill in, you could see one there and one there. Just, it's just an awkward height. Uh, I don't know why they, they do that. The thickness of these things doesn't match up well with other things. So anyway, um, problem solved and we are moving on. I just used some wood glue to attach those. And uh, today I'm gonna work on getting this plywood cut and mounted and get the backdrop extended between those two things. All right, well this week is kind of coming to a close here and just wanted to kind of show you all where I got. So I've got the little spacer piece uh, in. I uh, need to work on the seams and, and get it painted. And I've also got the backdrop cut um, and those two two by twos for each end of it to tie it into what I have. 
and uh, get that in. So uh, I'll leave it there um, for this week. I don't have much time uh, left to get much else done. Um, I did leave a giant crack here and it's because I didn't have a big enough piece of foam for this whole space and I didn't want to go to the store just for this one. I can fill that in with, uh, I've got some great stuff on order, which is a spray foam. Comes with a little dispenser. I can get it down in that crack. Um, so that's what I'm going to do there. Um, and then I'll probably just use the traditional, uh, you know, spackle over here on this one. And I'll do the same on those seams once I get that piece of backdrop up. So um, all in all, pretty good week of, of progress. I'm very happy to have something with some scenery up again. Um, so I will, uh, I will leave it here. I hope y'all are all uh, doing well and uh, staying safe out there.